Welcome to Horizontal Multiplication Division Booklet 3, uh, Multiplying by 4 and 5. So let's go ahead and start on page number 5. And uh, I'm going to go to the example question on the top. And it asks me, how many dogs are there? So I have my dogs right here. And it wants me to write an addition sentence. So it looks like they're grouped up in like little squares of 4. So I want to add up the 4's. So I have uh, 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4. So that's going to equal to 20. So that also they asked me how many groups of 4 is that? And I would say there's 5. There's 5 groups of 4 there. So if I know how many groups of 4 there are, I can write two multiplication sentences. Uh, the first one I'll write is 5 times 4 is equal to 20. And because multiplication is commutative, 4 times 5 is equal to 20. Let's move on down to uh, fill in the missing numbers. Now let's go ahead and start with uh, 4 times 0. Well, just like with 2's and 3's, anything multiplied by 0 is equal to 0. So what if I did 4 times 1? That would be one group of 4, so that would be a total of 4. Now let's say I had a total of 8. How many groups of 4 would I need to make 8? 2. You would need 2 groups of 4 to make 8. So let's go ahead and try to speed this up a little bit. We have uh, 4 times 3, 4 times 4, and 4 times 5. Just like the patterns we had with times 2 and times 3, you would add the same amount each time. So in this case, you're going to be adding 4 each time. So since I went 0, 4, 8, 4 times 3 is going to be 4 more than 8, so that's going to give me 12. 4 times 4 would be 16, and 4 times 5 would be 20. So then I'm going to go, and I'm just going to go ahead and go, what's 6, 7, 8, and 9? 4 times each one of those. So then that would be 24, 28, 32, and 36. And I'm going to go ahead and just fill down the rest. 4 times 10, 4 times 11, and 4 times 12 would be 40, 44, and 48. Let's move over to the sample on the right now. How many balls are there? Now it looks like I see kind of a light yellow, a green, an orange, kind of maybe a, a red or a darker orange. Uh, so it looks like, it looks like they're in groups of four, which makes sense because we're multiplying by four and five. So I want to go ahead and count each four up and see how many there are and write it as an addition sentence. So starting from the top, I see four plus four plus four plus four plus four plus four and plus four. So that would be an addition sentence. How many groups of four is that? That would be seven. So now I want to think I want to be able to write two multiplication sentences. So if I have seven groups of four, I could write seven times four, and that's equal to twenty-eight. Or I could flip it. Four times seven, also equal to twenty-eight. Let's move on to page thirteen and count how many trees are there. So uh, there are my trees right there. So I need to write an addition sentence. Uh, since they're in groups of five, I'm going to go ahead and put five plus five plus five is equal to 15. Now if I was basically counting the groups of five, that would be one, two, three. So there are three groups of five. So now all I need to do is uh, write two multiplication sentences. Well, if I have five groups of three, I could just multiply them together. So 5 times 3 is equal to 15. And it doesn't matter which way you go about it. Since uh, multiplication is commutative, you can definitely um, go either way. So 5 times 3 is 15. And also, 3 times 5 is 15. Uh, as you can see, both cases, they equal 15. So obviously, they are the same. Let's move down into fill in the missing numbers. So again, I'm going to start with 0. So 5 times 0 is equal to 0. 5 times 1 is equal to 5. That would be one group of 5. Let's continue the pattern down. 5 times 2 is equal to 10. So then what's 5 times 3, 5 times 4, and 5 times 5? Well, that's going to be 15, 20, and 25. Again, we're just adding 5 on the left every time. So 6, 7, 8, and 9 would be 30, 35, 40, and 45. So 10, 11, and 12 going to be 50, 55, and 60. Let's move over to the problem on the right. 
How many fingers are there? Well, the first thing it wants me to do is write an addition sentence. So I need to basically count by, in this case, fives, because there are five fingers per hand. So moving over, I see five plus 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 five. Okay, so it asks me how many groups of five is that, or how many hands do I have here? Looks like I have eight hands. So if I was going to write two multiplication sentences about this, since I have five groups of eight, or sorry, eight groups of five, I would do eight times five is equal to 40. But since multiplication is commutative, I can flip. It doesn't matter which one goes first. So five times eight is also 40.